CRTV News, nothing but the news. CRTV News, ici, toute l'info. The battle for 900 regional councillors is playing out across the 10 regions of Cameroon as campaigns enter day four. Hello and welcome to Von the Campaign, your campaign curiosities on CRTV News. I am Sally Sonata Faha. The council elections is a very, very defining moment in the history of Cameroon. The country is electing its pioneer regional councillors, which will crown the decentralization process. Today, we are hitting the election track with what's making news in the election trail. If you find it hard to understand the role of decentralization and local development, well, not to worry. Our expert, Professor Jean-Claude Chewa, has got your back. And if you ever wondered for a second where former Indomitable Lions captain Emmanuel Mve Elemva has been all this while. Just grab a seat and watch him play furiously to secure a seat as a councillor. Ladies and gentlemen, this and more will be yours right ahead. So, what has been trending uh, today? Basically, candidates are devising strategies to convince the electorate to vote in their favor come December 6. Our reporter Clarence Gay presents the atmosphere of this exercise. Four days into campaigns of the first ever regional elections in Cameroon, the candidates for this race are using media platforms to get their messages across. Besides TV and radio stations, traditional rulers and political parties are using the social media, a superhighway of information, with one objective, to woo the electorate in their favor. They are presently touring all the divisional headquarters to set the stage ready for the first ever Pioneer regional elections on December 6, 2020. The floodgates to canvas for more votes by political parties and traditional chiefs who intend to become regional councillors will soon reach fever pitch, sings the official launch of campaigns Saturday, November 21, 2020. December 6 is one of the most important dates in the electoral calendar of this year as municipal councillors and traditional rulers will be going to the polls to elect the country's first ever regional councillors. It is very true the regional elections is uh, new to us, but then it will be some kind of a mistake if we go through the process without understanding what it is all about. So today, our expert, Professor Jean-Claude Chewa, is going to put it to us in clear terms. What is the role of the Ministry of Decentralization and Local Development in the electoral process? He spoke to our reporter, Christelle Avon. The process of decentralization is in cours in our country since many years and has experienced a phase of operationalization very active from 2010 avec le transfert des compétences aux communes. Le transfert des compétences aux communes ayant été euh, plus ou moins achevé, le président de la République a euh, instruit l'accélération du processus de décentralisation, qui suppose donc que l'on aille au-delà de ce que l'on avait fait déjà avec les communes, d'où la mise en place des régions, avec l'élection des conseillers régionaux 
qui se déroulera le 6 décembre prochain. Il s'agira véritablement d'une accélération parce qu'il est question de mettre en place le deuxième niveau ou le deuxième échelon de la décentralisation chez nous, étant entendu que le premier échelon, c'est la commune, le deuxième échelon étant la région. Et l'accélération également parce que les compétences qui sont celles des régions ne sont pas les mêmes que celles des communes. Les communes ont pour mission l'amélioration du cadre des conditions de vie des populations. Mais vous verrez qu'avec les régions, c'est une autre compétence, c'est une autre mission, une mission générale de progrès économique et social, qui va supposer donc des compétences plus grandes en termes d'aménagement du territoire, en termes de planification, en termes d'urbanisme. C'est tout cela qui participera justement de l'accélération. De, de décentralisation. Picture a player on a football pitch. Emmanuel V. Lemver, former Indomitable Lions captain, galvanizing his teammates to win goals for the squad. Today, the paradigm has shifted. This time around, he plays on the political scene to secure a seat as a councillor. This phase is well known in the football milieu. Emmanuel V. Elemva started his career in football as a player of Canon Sportif of Yaoundé, one of the reputed football clubs in the 1970s to the 1980s. The midfield defender led the 1972 squad at the African Cup of Nations as captain of the indomitable Lions of Cameroon, a competition which saw the elimination of Team Cameroon at the semi-finals. Emmanuel Nve is also noted for having been the chairman of the Provisional Management Committee of the Cameroon Football Federation, FICAFUT, in 1995. On November 20, 2016, he was elected president of Canon Sportif of Yaoundé Football Club, a post which he holds to date. You will get to see this football figure in the battlefield of campaigns for the Pioneer Regional Council election. Member of the CPDM Central Committee, Emmanuel Mve Elemva is among the candidates running for the regionals in the Ntem Valley Division, South Region. We also want to know what you have to say about who a regional councillor is. You know what? Just grab the mic. We are all ears. Le conseil régional, c'est celui qui s'occupe en principe dans et gère les problèmes de sa localité. Donc, il est le représentant. Ça veut dire que les chefs traditionnels sont en principe des conseils régionaux. Celui qui gère la région. Je crois que à partir de là, le conseil régional. Euh, représente carrément le gouvernement au niveau de la gestion des, des infrastructures, de la collectivité et tout ça. Donc, euh, en fait, je crois que c'est ça le conseil régional. De la, de la gestion journalière qui sont en appui aux maires des communes. Euh, leur rôle, c'est en fait d'abord la surveillance euh, et des propositions. Je ne sais pas comment vous répondre hein, parce que là, je ne sais même pas si j'ai fait le corps pour répondre à ce genre de questions. There has been a lot of traffic on the net. Twitter, Facebook has been taken by storm by political parties who want to communicate and connect with their voter base. Gladys Asu served the web for us. Social media has changed the game, allowing candidates to speak directly to constituents. Political parties with more presence on social media since the launch of campaigns for the regional elections has been the CPDM, the PCRN, PERS and NUDP. On the ruling party's official page on Facebook and Twitter, the colors of the regional elections are being felt as they present their case. One of their updates reads, 
Regional councillors from the ranks of the CPTM will make your region a high place for the consolidation of national unity and integration, as well as the defence of the territorial integrity of Cameroon. Members like Jean Quete, Professor Jacques Famdongo have presented the mission of CPTM in the regional election and decentralisation process. Cabra Libis PCRN party has put a face to the names of its municipal councillors and traditional rulers in the race for the Sanaga Maritime. It also uploaded a post highlighting the context of this maiden regional election and the reason for their participation. Same move by the Purse Party, headed by Serge Espoir Matumba, who on its Facebook page presented the role of the regional councillors and his meeting with Sawa traditional rulers. And of course, CRTV Web is giving more visibility to the parties and candidates in action. Since the launch, it has been feeding its followers with the media tour of some parties and candidates. Well, if COVID-19 cannot permit large gatherings, then the social media is now a more active tool for candidates to pitch their cause. So what's setting the agenda on today's campaign stage? Emmanuel Amoni says we should look out for elections Cameroon. Elecam will be organizing a press conference with uh, national and international pressmen to edify them on how to better cover the December 6 regional elections. Tomorrow, November 25th, 2020, Elections Management Body will hold a session as of right at its headquarters in Yaoundé at 10 a.m. The focus of this meeting will be to brief both national and international media personalities on how they are to cover or report the December 6th, 2020 Regional Council elections. Elekam, in charge of organizing the elections, has been at the very beginning of the process for a successful first ever Pioneer Regional election. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a wrap for Van de Campagne this Tuesday. Tomorrow you will be in the company of Gael Obono. As for me, let's do this again Thursday.